Hello, we're gonna make our soap. So the question was, you have been bitten by a radioactive snow fairy. What powers do you have? And then there was like a little like that bubble, cloudy type emojis, and then also a snowflake emoji with an Elsa. And it was so close. We had, I think we had a total of 19 responses and it was literally 47% to 53%, but Elsa won. And so, which I guess makes sense too, Snow Ferret. I think they're called Ermines or something. They're so cute. So the soap we're gonna make today, I'm going to do a combination of Alpine Frost from Wholesale Supplies Plus and Moon Shadow from Rustic Essentials. And the reason for that is the Alpine Frost I love, but it definitely has like, it, so that will get us like our snowy forest, but um, it definitely has like, it doesn't have snow ferret vibes to me, but I was thinking if we combine it with Moon Shadow, which definitely has almost a fruity floral vibe, I think that together they will get what I'm going for. We are making soap inspired by radioactive snow ferrets. We're gonna do just a little bit of yellow. What would your superpower be if you could have any superpower in the world? I don't know what, I, I think, I think I'd like to either freeze time or be able to move very quickly because then I could get all the things that I want to get done, which sounds very toxic. So maybe that's not a good dream <laughs> superpower to have. I don't know. Also, if you had a superpower and you were a superhero, would you do superhero things? Would you go saving the world? Or would you just go about your daily life and just like jump in when there was an absolute need? This is my least favorite line. I cannot wait till I go to my regular supplier. It took forever, but look at this. We are almost fully liquid. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Making soap is like pretty science. And sometimes. It just surprises me. <laughs> okay, I think that is pretty much good. Here comes a little bit more ASMR from the blender. Okay, and that goes over there, and we're just gonna go bloop, bloop. A little bit of yellow. Blah, 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 blah. And do a little bit more blue. And then the rest will be just sort of like plain white. Oh, and we're nice and liquidy. Just past emulsion, so everything is mixed well. I wonder if we could do a drop swirl. I'm very curious. Because you know I love I love a drop swirl if I can do it. <laughs> Which is not always the case. I'm just going to use my spoon and just see how that mixes together. And if I need to, I will get the emulsifier. But I don't think we need to because that is looking freaking fantastic. I think we're going to try. Hmm. 
Okay, and then... Oh no. <laughs> I did... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I did... I added the yellow to the... Okay, hang on. So I made a mistake, and I added more yellow than blue. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this in here. Bop, bop, bop. I don't know what I was thinking. My brain! We shall find out. Ready? So we're just gonna put this straight in. And I am going to fully scrape this out because there's not as much of this color as I would have liked there to be because <laughs> I was very silly and I somehow missed that I had, <laughs> I put the yellow in the big one. Rude. Rude behavior, actually, to be, to be totally frank. Oh my God, I hate this bowl. And so I was like, oh, I'll just use the big bowl that I have for when I'm making multiple batches in like two days kind of thing. Okay. And... Oh no, I need to move faster. Move fast. Ready? And... And I'm gonna leave some in there to do the top. And trying to move quickly because I got too distracted by trying to get that camera. Ooh, okay, I don't know if that really went swirly, but it definitely did something. <laughs> it definitely did something. I'm gonna try something totally new and random and we'll see what happens. <laughs> So I don't have my hanger swirl, but I do have this extra thing for our loaf cutter. And I just wonder if I just like stick it, can I use it as like a skinny hanger swirl? I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna look like on the inside. And it's getting my fingers a little soapy, but it's okay, that's why I wear gloves. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> doing experimental soap art. I believe in experimentation, which is why I was like, well, let's just see. Do that. And then maybe even like, hmm, I'd love to, okay, I'm just gonna stick this. So I'd love to get some of that white up a little. I'm gonna stick that in. I'm just gonna like try and drag it. I don't know. I don't know if that's doing anything in there. <laughs> we'll find out when we go to cut it. Oh goodness. And we're gonna scrape our container. <laughs> but it does smell really good. The, the combination of those fragrances together, the moon shadow and the alpine frost, I think mix really well. And honestly, in terms of like acceleration for the fragrances, like not bad. Honest, if I had if I had not gotten so distracted with myself trying to get the camera so that way you could kind of see what I was doing, I probably would have been able to do what I wanted to do initially. But that's just how it is. And that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm gonna try and tap this down a little. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're also gonna add a lot of glitter, especially our silver glitter, because how can you not with, like how can you not use Sparkle of Plenty from Mad Micah's on a soap inspired by a snow ferret who is radioactive, biting people and giving them snow powers, right? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of liking what this is doing because it's not like doing as much of a pull as like my little sturdy spatula. Okay, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Bloop, 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 bloop. I think I might have it. I like this. We're trying new, experimental, not actually real techniques. Maybe they are. Maybe there is somebody that does this all the time that uses a little wire to do their soap textures and swirls. I don't know. 
I'm gonna Google it though. <laughs> okay. So that you can see. Here we are. So like very like textured, but kind and kind of like wintry, snowy. I was thinking of like trees, but also of like snowbanks. And so I like kind of like our little peaks. Ooh, and we just go. And I think we're gonna go kind of heavy with this. So it's not like we really have like a swirl top. So the color on top is not necessarily as important as just like accentuating that texture. And what I find with the Sparkle Plenty is it really does a good job of that. I'll be really excited to see when that yellow mellows out too. I am gonna be covered in glitter, but I'm kind of always covered in glitter. Woo! Two days later. We used our skinny mold. Go out. Um, well, because I didn't go inside to get our other one, and so we used this one, but we, we kind of talked about it and thought it might be fun for our sort of radioactive snow ferret inspired soap to be a little bit thinner and then like taller. <laughs> So that's just the butt. So let's see what we really get. I think probably like right there. Mm. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely pastel, but it is def it is also sort of giving like sky, snow. Almost and also beach. It could be so many things. Mm, it smells so good. I like it. I'm here for it. Watch out. And the way that the blue went in. And so far, oh well, we're starting to see some of my swirl work with that little wire experiment that we were trying. I don't know if that is successful. <laughs> But it definitely is also like the colors are giving me v major frozen vibes. And so at least in that, we were very successful. Oh, look, one of my little wire swirls worked. And I'll like, as I've said before, I'll like trim all the edges and like flatten stuff out once it's done curing. But the main thing is just to get it into position for curing. Because once it starts getting like fully Cured, it becomes very hard to cut, but you can shave it. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna be? Ooh, it kind of looks like a butt. It's, it's, or, oh wait, is this Homer Simpson? Like inverted Homer Simpson? Am I wrong? It's a smiley face. Um. <laughs> like, oh, oh. or a butt, or a smiley face. Maybe a smiley face, or also boobs. <laughs> but it's looking so pretty. I'm loving it. suggestions for our radioactive snow fair inspired Elsa inspired soap. Tundra Sunrise has one. And that is going to be it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things. You can also join us live on Twitch throughout the week making soap, hanging with the goats, and playing games at twitch.tv slash totesmgoat. 
If you would like to order your own bar of Tundra Sunrise, you can do that at totesmg.com shop. All our socials are linked in the channel bio. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, that you take care of yourself, and find something that makes you smile. Until next time, bye!